and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I'll be working with a new release from Spellbinders. This one's called Open Road and it's really fantastic if you love um, all the various um, sort of cars that Spellbinders has come out with. This is going to be another uh, lovely uh, card to add to your collection and what I'm doing is using one of the stamp sets that comes in this collection. I've stamped with Versifying ink onto um, vellum and then I'll uh, clear heat emboss over that so that um, I get this nice glossy finish but I'll be laying these vellum balloons over top of some uh, colored balloons just to give them a more frosted look and um, this background panel that I've created I've just used some of my distress uh, oxide sprays and just sprayed the background splattered it with various um, colors and I want to lighten it up and give it a little bit more of a cloudy finish as opposed to the more underwater look that it has because it's an oxide it, it has oxidized in some areas where you get sort of that bubble effect but what I'm going to do is with my white pigment ink I'm just going to um, sort of brush that ink over this panel and um, it's going to be fairly subtle but it'll have the um, the effect of both lightening the background as well as adding some uh, softness to it and taking away a little bit a little bit of that modeled look and I um, to get my pigment ink to move around a little bit better I just dropped a little bit of glycerin onto, um, I'm not working off of a mat, the white sheet of paper that you see, it's actually just a paper liner from um, address labels. Once I'm done using them, I just uh, peel off the rest of the paper and use that as my um, kind of work mat for doing media or water um, based techniques. And with my background complete, what I'll do is start to assemble um, my balloons. So first off, I am putting a dot, just a small little dot of PVA adhesive on the back and I put my twang right into that adhesive, but I'm also going to just use some scotch tape to um, tape it down. And that way I get the permanency of the liquid adhesive, but the scotch tape will keep it in place as it dries. That way I can continue to work on my um, project and not have to wait. <laughs> so what I've done um, off to the left hand side, you can see those already have the uh, vellum layer attached to on top of uh, plain solid color cardstock. And when I did, um, you kind of have to be careful when you're using a wet adhesive or any adhesive really with vellum because that adhesive can be visible. So I was careful just to use just a smidge of uh, liquid adhesive and only behind where the letters are so you don't see that adhesive um, through the vellum. I'm going to um, start to assemble the slider mechanism. So I've got my track already cut out. I have my discs, which I like to just use my three quarter inch um, punch to punch out these circles. The full circle is punched from 120 pound heavyweight cardstock, but the uh, circles that I fold in half and sandwich in the center, those are 65 pound. It's just easier to fold the 65 pound weight cardstock as opposed to um, folding 120 pound. And then I slot that through my track and add another layer of the 120 pound uh, circle disc. And that completes my uh, slider. Now to assemble the car, 
what I um, have done is I've die cut the car, which the the main body of the car is one die and it does cut out all of that trim detail. But if you want a different color from your background to show through um, that detailing, then um, you'll need to kind of back the car with another color, which is what I've done. I've backed it with some iridescent mirror card. And the card does, uh, the die set does come with a variety of different elements. This is actually, I feel like, one of the easier cards to assemble. So you've got the, um, I guess sort of like a, a rack um, that goes on the back of the car. You've got the uh, wheel um, and then you have the uh, wheel cover as well, which has actually two pieces to it. I don't think I ended up using everything because there are um, taillights and there are headlights. There's also uh, the rear bumper and the front bumper. So lots, lots of little pieces, um, but not too terribly hard to assemble. You would just, um, and a lot of these little pieces are on the same die plate. So, um, so it's not a ton of little itty bitty dies that you have to keep track of. So I find that that's, that's really helpful because, um, with a lot of these smaller pieces, I, I would worry a lot about losing a die. Um, but they've actually combined a lot of the die cut pieces onto a single die plate. So that makes it really convenient. And what I do is if I want something in a different color, uh, from something else, what I'll do is just cut, um, you know, a small scrap of paper in the color that I want and just place that behind the element that I want to cut out so that I'm not always cutting all of the pieces and, and then end up with a lot of leftover pieces that I don't don't actually need. So I, I just opted not to use the, um, the front lights and just the uh, rear tail lights and that's that's basically the car complete it's a nice uh, kind of sporty convertible car which is kind of um, cool and it's from this um, side profile which is really nice so for the um, uh, slider mechanism I, f I feel like it's great to use on on the, the style of card because if you have Sunday Drive for example that's from the sort of the rear perspectives as if you were looking at the car from behind and so it doesn't quite lend itself to a interactive style of card at least not one that that immediately comes to mind to make it look like the car is actually traveling whereas the side profile is really cool um and i i have a suspicion although i'm not haven't pulled it out to double check but i think the balloons in this set may be um may be the same shape and size as one of the add-ons to Sunday Drive. I'll have to double check because I do have it. So, um, so I'm, I'm a little curious to, to, uh, find out for myself whether that's the case because it's really nice to have multiples of the same die, especially in this case where you're using the balloons to kind of spell out a word. You can, um, it really speeds up your die cutting if you if you do have multiples. So I did make a little bit of a mistake here, which um, I feel like I do this quite often. Um, so I don't know when I'll learn. But you don't need to actually place foam on the top row across the entire uh, top of this slider track mechanism because where your... Um, where your tab um, needs to travel, you actually don't want that to be glued down. You don't want adhesive there. And you'll see me later, I believe it's going to be on camera, where I actually have to um, pull up some of that foam so that my track, uh, so that my um, little stand pop up or the slider stand can actually um, travel uh, the length or the distance that it needs to. And for once though, I did remember to stamp the uh, pull here <laughs> before I actually attach to my pull tab. So I've got that stamped out on the end here and 
because I don't want this to extend past the boundaries of my um of my card, I I um did uh die cut out or actually I guess I didn't die cut it, but I, I used my circle punch to punch out a little thumb notch from the black layer. That way you have access to this um pull tab. And I I uh would normally do um the punching all the way through all the layers from top to bottom so that you can really grab onto that um pull tab. And I don't know why, but I just, um, well, from the, oh, I know why. Because I actually um, have my slider track going much further than it needs to travel. And because that track is there, there isn't enough for me to um, punch a pull tab notch through it, a thumb notch through it. So, so that's why I didn't actually punch through my card base either, because you're not going to be able to grab it from the bottom. You can only really grab it from the top. Okay, so I've got this uh, acetate stand from Heavyweight uh, Acetate, and I've attached it to uh, my slider mechanism, and then I've just folded it over the top. That way I can um, basically hide my slider track. Um, I don't, when I make slider cards, I don't like for, for that track to be visible. And so this is one way if you were, um, if what you're moving across your card uh, doesn't sort of um, uh, make sense to kind of pop up over that front layer um, on top of it, then um, you can always use some clear acetate and fold it over so that it's actually in front of that um, that uh your mechanism essentially and that's what i wanted it to look like because i want it to feel like the car is actually on the road and so that's why i folded over the acetate so that um the car is actually looking like it's it's um driving across the um the black portion which is hiding our mechanism and I'm gonna attach all of these balloons together so that they are a single unit and I'm using this little swing mechanism which came as part of one of our uh, club kits the one with the um, swinging bunny I think it was one of the small um, uh, dies of the month and I just thought it would be really cute to have a little bit of motion as the car um, sort of drives across this, uh, the card front, that the balloon sort of moves or trails with it as it would, um, you know, in, in real life. Now, the balloon's not going to move across the card, it's just going to um, rotate and swing on this uh, swinging mechanism. And, and it, because there's so much, uh, I made sure there was a lot of slack in the uh, balloon strings. It it feels somewhat realistic because the balloons won't actually start to move until the strings are um, actually get you know more taut and um, and then start to move uh, those balloons along with the car. So I've just added some um, foam but only to those uh, swinging bars. That way the, the swinging mechanism can still move freely and the balloons are only attached to that. They're not uh, fixed to, um, to the card base. And I'm going to uh, just not, uh, kind of tie these, all these ends together so that I can, uh, it just makes it easier to, to use. I was going to, uh, just loop them all and tie them together in a loop, but it was easier to just cut another stretch of uh, twine and uh, tie them together that way. So here you see I'm scraping off my foam because because uh, that's that's the um, area that's the stretch that the car needs to travel, and so you don't want um, you don't want any adhesive there. You don't want any foam there. So I've uh, scraped that off and then I powdered it just to really make sure that it's not sticky. And to make even more sure that it's not sticky, I put uh, scotch tape over that whole thing. <laughs> so so that will help to ensure that the um, my acetate stand glides smoothly. Now I did leave a little bit 
of the foam adhesive, but that's acting as a stopper. So, um, so that my, and I guess you could have it go even further, but I, my car can't go, um, too, too far because the strings that I've attached to my balloon won't extend, um, that much further beyond, beyond where, um, this final point is. So that's sort of how I, I, um, determined how far the car could move is, you know, when, um, how much string did I leave myself or twine did I leave myself? And, um, and, you know, how far do I want the car to actually travel off the card? Because by that point, part of the car is actually off of the card. Um, and then to add the main sentiment, I'm using what's become uh, one of my favorite alphabet die sets, which is from, uh, I think it's the Be Bold um, alphabet die set, which they have, I think, three different sets. One that's all lowercase, one that's all uppercase, and then one that's the uh, punctuations and numbers, I believe. Not 100% sure. I don't have the third one. I just have the uppers and the lowers. But what I love is that for some letters, now I didn't use it here, but some of the letters have an additional flourish to them, which I love that you get that option, but you don't have to use that option. You can use it as I've used it here and kept the lettering simple. And I love this card because I think it works um, well for folks who may not be into their pinks and purples. <laughs> and um, so it's a really uh, fun card. And I love the that the balloons will kind of move in the clouds there. And um, as the car uh, stretches across the card, it'll, it'll kind of swing those balloons um, behind it. So that's my card for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing. And if you'd like to catch new videos as I post them, consider subscribing to my channel and ringing the notification bell. Thanks so much. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.